Guys, and happy Thanksgiving. I hope y'all are having a great one. But today we're gonna to be talking about the Govi Permanent Light Solutions Kit. This is the 50 foot kit. My neighbor actually has two of the 100 foot kits so I can verify from all the kits what the differences are, if any. One thing that you're gonna to wanna to know right off the rip is what kit do I have? And if you buy a different size kit, it's gonna be a different model. So down here, it's going to tell you 870.05B. Whenever you're in the app, you're actually going to have to know that. That way you can pick which one you actually have. So this being a 50-foot kit is different from his 200-foot kits. And you can only do 150-foot max per power supply. So just be aware, if you do any more than 150, you will have to either power inject yourself, make your own kits, or you'll have to run two separate models. Installation right off the rip. These things have a super simple installation kit. It's just three M adhesive, a few tabs, and a few screws. Some of the issues with it is if you do not clean your soffit with 91% rubbing alcohol really well, they will not stick. Case in point, my neighbor had terrible issues trying to get theirs to hang and stay hung after a day. They ended up stapling theirs. I don't recommend that. It didn't turn out the way they wanted it, but hey, it is what it is. I just used the 3M adhesive. It stuck, but a few of them did start hanging. I do have a solution that I'm working on for everybody that will be a cost-effective solution, but there are some on the market on already. You can get 3D printed housings with two screw holes, and you can pop those up there or glue them up there if you'd like. I'll leave a link in the description to all the stuff I talked about. The show I want to address is the power. So in order to run power, you either have to drill a hole, which I already had a hole for my Christmas light show, um, so it wasn't a big deal, but you have to drill a hole big enough for this to fit through in order to get the power supply because the power supply and brain box right here doesn't have a disconnect when it goes up in there. So one thing you're going to want to do is either move your soffit and run it underneath it or drill a hole big enough so you can fit that in. It part. isn't compatible with any of the aftermarket stuff like X lights, pixel lights, UFI, they all use a different connector. There's X connector. There's a ton of different names for this, and Goofy and Ufi off. I don't know Ufi, Ufi, whatever. E U F F Y E U F Y, whatever the other brand is, looks just like these. Just a heads up. Um, they all use a proprietary connector. That way you can't connect them, but they are still the same same three signal wires, so you can make your own harness. What you want to do up. is get some of these clips. I'll leave a link in the description. They're super cheap LED light strip uh, clips but they do come with a screw and you can screw them on and they help hold the weight. So certain places like this where it connects, where it's heavier, I should just put in them so you don't put a strain on it. Now let's come over here to where these two connect. There's a reason this one's hanging is because I was gonna cut that off and then tape it up, I completely forgot. The 90s, they don't look very pretty, I'll tell you that right now, so just be aware of that. There's no real good solution. I tried cutting the corner like this, and I don't like this even as much as that. Being said, these lights can be cut and they can be extended. They can be manipulated to, you can make your own harnesses, whatever. A little bit more in depth than most people are gonna wanna do for a home installation of so permanent like lights. like $199 on sale for like 150. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, you can get all the way up to 150 foot run, and you can also get the pro version, which the pro version is better for splicing. It comes with a, a splice kit thing. Uh, it makes it a lot nicer and it's black instead of white. So if you have black faucets or you're on brick or hardy board that's painted dark, it will blend it a lot come better. in white. And they're talking about a tan version later I'm on. I'm very happy with the Govi light system. It's basic. It works great. It looks really good. I'll leave some videos at the end of this and in between so y'all can see what they look like. Um, I wish the installation was a little bit more straightforward. Um, it's not a... It, it, it works, but they really should have. So I made this little template for when I put it up there so all the lights were even. They really should provide something like this with different steps. That way people can, okay, well, I want all my lights this size. Because if you put it right up against the house, it looks really bad. I'm just going to tell you that like now. Three inches off the house. And I really, really think it looks great. It does way. come with these 3M adhesive replacement pads. But you have better luck going to Walmart, buying a strip of double-sided tape that's stronger, Super Hole Gorilla or something. I'll leave some links for Amazon, but it holds better than this stuff, I'll be honest. 3M is not bad, but unless you clean or have a brand new house, I cleaned this with isopropyl alcohol. Uh, my neighbor pressure washed his. 
Um, pressure washing, not the way to go. The isopropyl alcohol worked a lot better, but it, it's still, you had to hold it on there and make sure it really adhered. So just be aware of that, that they could fall because also, of this that. this kit is it does work with Alexa and it does work with Google Home. So you can control it that way. And if you have a um, home base, like um, a security system or an iPad that runs apps, you can actually link it to that to where you can just click on it and it have its own icon and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's called Home Brew or Home so Something. Guys, again, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you all have a great one and Merry Christmas if it's after the Christmas holidays. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Let me know what you think and what kind of issues you're having um, because these are still relatively new on the market. They've only been out for like two years and most people don't even know that they're out. So they're gaining popularity and we're going to find out what kind of issues these things are going to have long term. Thanks for watching. All the links to all the products and everything I talked about are down below.